Hey guys, Robert Ham here, coming at you again with another tutorial. This is Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography. Catch me over on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. You can find me on both Facebook and YouTube forward slash Robert Ham Photography. Today we're going over how to do just some exports straight out of Lightroom. So come on over here. I got a lot of stuff happening in the background. I'm producing some vis videos, uh, little things using uh, Magisto. Um, I kind of like that. I, I can tell you a little bit more about that later. But there's a lot of processing that's happening right now. And uh, give it a shot. Let's see what happens. The purpose of this video today is to show you how to do multiple exports uh, in Lightroom. It's also to show you how Lightroom perf uh, performs on the Surface Pro 3 under a load. There currently is a load going on right now. And the uh, first thing I'm going to do is jump into my library module. And as I'm in my library module, I like to come all the way down here. Looks like I typed something. What's that? Control Z. Undo, go to next photo. Okay, great. We're going to come all the way over here, and uh, I like to look at the library module. We can just hit G for the grid view. As we come up, nice photos. You can see some of them in there. There's lots of them in this particular gallery. Abigail and Wesley. I have six categories of photos. I'm getting ready to export all of them. Everything from beautiful detail shots, you know. Uh, it's easier to scroll like this than it is using the scroll wheel or the, the trackpad. Detail shots over here to portraiture. Okay. And you can see I'm actually in my published module for Smug Mug for my RobertHamPhotography.com website. So you'll see it tells me currently what photos need to be republished to the web as well. And, and that works for me real nicely. It, it won't if, if impact us here, but it lets me know which photos need to be uploaded so no matter or updated. No matter if you change them here or in your actual drive where they are, uh, doesn't really matter. It'll tell you what needs to be updated. So we're coming over here to guests with our bride and groom. You know, nice shots, cool stuff. Actually, those are pretty cool. I like those shots. Uh, coming over here, guests and family. You know, picture the dog, kiddos, you know. Smiley, smiley people. So just kind of giving you an idea of what it's there. Um, bride and groom. Oh, this is actually my favorite. Uh, photographer favorites. I see all these, all kinds of really cool shots. So show some of them to you there. Fun shots on the ocean front. You know, smiles. They're, they're being silly and kisses. And he's wearing the veil and the ring. And, you know, stuff like that. Cool things. Mom. Soldier. All of it. Very cool. Very cool. So, there we go. Um, now that we've gone through that and we're reminiscing, it's time to go ahead and get through this. So, we're going to come up here. Uh, first thing I do is go to Detail Shots, like I said. Uh, and from Detail Shots, we're going to go ahead and collect, click all of them. So, Control A for select every photo. Come down here. You can do just your regular export command, but I right click, uh, export, and I'm going to come over here and select a folder. I'm exporting to the hard drive to a specific folder to my desktop, okay? Uh, as I go down here to my desktop, I will find Abigail and Wesley, okay? Now, I select that folder. I could also create a folder there if I wanted to. I'm going to put a fold this into a folder, and the folder is going to be called One Detail Shots. Well, I've got caps lock on, so... have to redo it. Detail shots. When I export my photos, I do it all at a 50% JPEG. Okay. Um, sRGB is the color space. I don't resize to fit anywhere. And I don't put a watermark on them. Now I could, I use just standard uh, output and I generally use matte paper, but we're going to sharpen this just for screen. I'm glad I looked at that. I always do, but uh, this is for the screen, for displaying on the screen. And then that'll give you the best sharpness for if they want to print it somewhere else or, or whatever. Uh, however you do your prints for your people's is your own business. But if you keep it sharpened for screen standard, then if they chose to print it out themselves or have another printer do it or take it to Walgreens or someplace like that, then uh, it would provide the best uh, opportunity for them to be able to select some different settings. They're just going to put it on auto anyways. So anyways, there we go. It's exporting. Okay, see it right here. Well, I'm not done there because, well, it's just not done. The next thing that I'm going to do is come down here and go to guest and family. So over here, 
as you can see, I'm going to control A all again. Okay, and I'm going to right click. I should probably do that down here. Right click, export. Okay, bingo. From here, I'm going to do two guests and family. Okay, now this is already going to the same folder I chose earlier. And since I got put in subfolder checked, it just allows me to create a folder with all of my subfolders, everything else being the same. And then when I create the DVD, it's already organized properly. So when we scroll back up to the top or open up our top-down triangle, we'll notice we've got a couple of processes going on. One is exporting 43 files, another is exporting 92 files. Now, we're going to continue just to kind of get a look-see and see how many export operations we can get going before Surface says I've had enough. Now, right now, we can tell it's starting to get something happening because it was just a little wobble there before it showed up. So we're over here. Once again, Control-A. Selected all the photos. Right-click. Export. Okay. We don't want to do export with previous because that put everything in this same folder. We once again select three. These are family shots. Actually, they're the family portraits. So this is all the traditional shots from the wedding and everything else. Everything else is the same, so no real need to scroll down, but just for giggles. Okay. So now it's updated. It's doing pretty good. It knows that we've got more up there. I'm going to come down here. Guests. Oh, and I noticed something. Under guests. I spelled guests with bride and groom wrong. All right, so that's actually a published gallery, so I don't want to continue looking silly, so I'm going to come up here in Lightroom, go to Edit Gallery. And we're going to wait while it decides to do what I asked it to do. It's going to show this, and it should pop up with Edit Gallery. Okay. No. All right, so... It's actually beginning to stutter, stutter right now at three operations, three exports, plus a movie creation export, plus I'm updating Adobe Creative Cloud right now, downloading Premiere Pro. Uh, oh, it looks like it just finished downloading, okay, which is cool. And over here, just so that we can talk about it, I've got syncing with uh, Google Drive, uh, syncing over here as well as with Evernote. That's not too big. That's a pretty light process. I've got my print monitor on for my Epson uh, 72, uh, 7620. I've got Dropbox synchronization push bullet going on. A couple of SD cards reading. i got uh, Microsoft, Microsoft SkyDrive, Adobe Creative Cloud over here. Well, there's Creative Cloud, and there's, there's, Creative, there's, there's your Adobe Helper app, the one that comes in and lets you know which you've got signed in, and that's actually the Creative Cloud app. So there are lots of things going on. In fact... There's so many things going on right now that I've actually lost the mouse. Let's find out if I still have direct input. I do, although slightly stuttered. But it has actually decided <laughs> there's no tablet or, or there's no, um, yeah. It's decided that there's no, uh, what's it called, being displayed. So we're going to help that out real quick. We're just going to move this back. I'll right-click right here by holding and drag. See? And we'll get to the task manager. So, oops. Well, it finally showed up. Check that out. So it's catching up. So two and a half minutes, it looks like. Two minutes that it took for that to show up. Really what I wanted to look at is we've got Lightroom's doing 97% of the CPU load. Our performance over here, just to kind of show you. Um, and well, let me scroll that way. Uh, we're hitting up at 2.23 gigahertz. Uh, it's been happening this way. This is a one-minute monitor. So we're up at 2.25. Lots of threads, nice processes, memory. We're only using about... 6 gigs of RAMs, uh, 5.7 out of the 8. And, uh, you know, so that's where it goes. I just kind of wanted to give you some idea of what this thing's actually doing under a load. You can see, too, that Magisto is still moving. Service Explorer's going. I got several tabs under Google going. And there's a lot of stuff happening. So, anyway, since it decided to show back up, we'll just push that down for a second. And I will come over here and correct my incorrect spelling. So, I don't get my type mode yet because it's not there. So, we're just going to hit the... Onboard keyboard. No. In fact, we're going to go ahead and just take this one off completely because it's acting like it has lost its mind with it on. 
Okay. No, don't enter tablet mode. All right. No. Can I minimize it? Yeah, it's so far behind right now. <laughs> it's gone ahead and decided to tell me no. But that's okay. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal right here. I've actually just tried to stress the machine as much as I could just to show you. And it's doing some pretty heavy processes. Remember, um, we're exporting 32 megabyte files, 40 megabyte files, we're converting them to a 50% JPEG, which is going to take the file and bring it down to probably 4 megabytes, right? And we're doing that three different operations all at the same time while we're uploading or creating a movie as well as uploading some other stuff. So there's a lot of things happening here. So anyways, just wanted to... I wish this would just go away. That would be cool. It's like it doesn't... I finally decided to go away. Guests. Can we... Ah, now we're catching back up. It must feel like it's actually got some stuff happening. Oh, we're not catching back up. We're, oh, yeah, we are. G-U-E-S. Ah. Uh, guests with bride and groom. Okay. And then close you down right there. Hit edit. So we're done with that. No. No on the tablet mode. Don't show me again. Yes, enter tablet mode. Okay, so it just asked me if I wanted to enter tablet mode. Now it's going to enter into tablet mode. It would not uh, go away any other way. Tablet mode, eh, sucks. But anyways, it just makes the screen large. It actually makes it act like it acts on an iPhone and uh, or an Android device. I don't particularly care for it, so we're going to go ahead and close it so now we're back so now we got that silly little thing going hey anyways there you go as you can see uh stuttering just a little bit as we go through this but still working all the way through and it's finally loaded that fourth operation look at that wow that's awesome so we've got export of 43 export of 92 export of 47 or 74 so we're talking 210 files that it's trying to upload right now 220 files that it's trying to convert and upload that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, just uh, showing you what we've got happening. This is Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography. Catch me up over on Twitter, at Rob Ham Photo. Once again, you can find me on Facebook and YouTube at forward slash Robert Ham Photography. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep shooting.